Hey everybody, I've been getting a lot of questions and comments and responses of people who have tried my method with the flattening jig and they say that they've been having problems. One of the problems that people said they've been having is when they use my flattening jig with the spacer, their limbs don't come out completely flat. The, their bows are always thicker near the handle, almost fully round, and then they're flat only at the tips. And a lot of people have had questions on, you know, what's wrong, what are they doing wrong? And what some people have started doing is they actually don't use the spacers on their flattening jigs and they're making completely flat bows. Except now they're having even more problems. So what I wanted to talk about today is the reason why I put the spacers. And for all of you who think, I use the spacer and the bow isn't completely flat. You're not doing it wrong. That's how it's supposed to be. So here's a bow that I'm currently working on. If you can see, I've smashed the handle just a little bit. But if you can see right here at the beginning is almost full round. It's a bit of an oval. That's because of the spacer. The three quarter inch spacer will make this sort of a, a thicker oval. That's what you want. You actually want it to be fairly thick going all the way down and then it gets thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner and then finally the tip should be its flattest point. You're not trying to completely flatten the bow. You don't want this section to be flat because you lose too much strength in the handle. What we're trying to do when we flatten the bow is we're trying to actually make this portion of the bow weaker because when the bow is full round this area is so strong that when you flex the bow, this portion doesn't bend. The bend is all in here. And while flattening it, we're trying to get the bend further out. Another question I've had is, you know, I'm using a stove. It's not possible with a stove. Well, I'm just going to show you a quick example. This bow, if you can see it, was done with a heat gun. This bow was done with a stove. Aside from just some variances in the curves that I put into them, it's the pretty much the same thing. They're both well, well flattened, well tapered. So, you know, I just wanted to explain that to you guys. So just keep up the good work, and if you guys have any more questions, just let me know. Thanks for watching.